Honorable Member for Papineau. Mr. Speaker, on the eve of the 25th anniversary of the tragic events at Polytechnic, we will be debating C-42, which would allow someone to circulate freely with a dangerous weapon in the trunk of his vehicle. Imagine if this vehicle was broken into. This bill would also give gun classification powers to politicians instead of to police officers. Will the Prime Minister recognize the danger in these, the danger in these provisions of the bill? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, such assertions on the part of the leader of the Liberal Party are false. The bill will allow... There's no conceal and carry in this legislation. But the fact of the matter is, arms can only be transported between specific locations. It must be by the most direct route. The firearms must be in a trunk, in a locked case, and must be unloaded. And those are the facts, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Member for Capital. Mr. Speaker, C-42 would allow handguns and assault weapons to be freely transported in a trunk anywhere within a province, even left parked outside the Canadian Tire or a local hockey arena. Imagine if the car carrying these weapons were broken into or stolen. This bill also takes classification decisions on guns away from police and puts them in the hands of politicians. Both these provisions threaten Canadians' safety. Will the government remove them? The right honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, as I just said, and I will repeat, the statements the Liberal Party leader has made are recklessly irresponsible and false. The fact of the matter is, under this law, current law and this law, Mr. Speaker, uh, firearms can only be transported between specific locations. They must be in a locked case, they must be in a trunk, and they must be unloaded. And, Mr. Speaker, those are the facts. But we, we expect this kind of distortion from the party that brought in the long gun registry and is itching to bring it back. Yeah.